Yo, what is up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. And uh, today I am fired up. We're going to open up a collector booster box of Modern Horizons 2. We are on the eve of release weekend for Commander Masters, another set that I have high hopes for. I'm going to be opening up a bunch of that as well. Uh, but I wanted to get this party started a little bit early. Um, and, you know, I open up a fair amount of Modern Horizons 2 on this channel, but I don't always get to open collector booster boxes. Obviously, they're not they're not inexpensive, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to celebrate. I'm excited about Commander Masters, but Modern Horizons 2 is, since I came back to the Magic World in 2018, 2019, uh, Time Spiral Remastered, Modern Horizons 2, and Throne of Eldraine are probably my most favorite sets. And, uh, you know, there's a ton of fun stuff in here. I'm going to be quiet now. Hopefully we pull some fun stuff today. And with that being said, why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's crack some packs. So, you know, I mentioned there is a, uh, of course, a price tag associated with, with these boxes. And this is a not inexpensive one. These boxes are about $370 a piece plus tax. Um, but there is a ton of good, fun stuff in here. We're hoping to pull some Fletch Lance. Uh, we are hoping to see uh, a bunch of the elementals at Mythics. But, you know... I have to be honest, this product is fairly boomer bust. Like, there is some really good hits in here, and there is some really unkind hits in the Mythic slot. So, there is a, you know, <laughs> there is a degree of variance here. But, that being said, I mean, the opportunity to get fetch lands and special treatments, retro frame and extended art, as well as the same thing, borderless art for, for you know, um, the Mythics. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Hopefully, we pull some good stuff. Let's get this party started here. All right. Got the goodest boy, Glimmer Baron. Mm hmm Rakdos Headliner, okay. Blessed Respite. All right, so we hit our Foil Etch Land. Now we start getting to the hits here. Here we go. We're going to start off with a Rashad and Dockhand Extended Art. Okay. Mm After that, an Abundant Harvest in the uh, Sketch Treatment. Mythic is a Titania Protector of Argoth in a Borderless. That is a uh, that is a that is an ouch. That is not a good value mythic as far as like strong value. It's a cool card. It's a nice card. The beautiful artwork. I have to say that. Uh, but it, you know, as far as monetary value is concerned, um, it is uh, not helping us. I'll say it that way. So Titania. After that, we do have our uh, Modern Horizons one cards that we have inserted in here as well. So we have a Fairy Seer. Then we get another Rakdos headliner and that uh, sketch treatment. Sure. After that, a Terminal Agony. All right, so let me straighten my piles here. There we go. All right, so sure, I don't care about that stuff. This is fine. All right, here we go. Terminal Agony in the Etched Treatment. After that, a Scion of Draco. That is an Etched Foil Scion. You can kind of see it. it's a little bit darker there on that uh, foiling, but you can see that Etched Foiling Treatment there. Um, you know, not like a huge financial hit. This card did spike at one point during like Dominaria United when Domain was all the rage. Uh, but it's not huge after that. Oh, there we go. There's a nice hit for us. So Douthy Voidwalker, Extended Art Foil, Douthy Voidwalker. You know, this is probably in like the $12 range would be my guess. A really good solid hit. Um, not going to be, like I said, huge monetarily, but it, it is. It qualifies as a hit. We'll take that. We will definitely take that. Okay. Not a bad pack one. I mean, all things considered, two Mythics. Not Mythics we're terribly excited about, but the Extended Art Foil Douthy is, is not bad. Um, the Modern Horizons 1 cards do add an element in here because there's things like uh, etched foil and foil versions, retro frame foil versions of uh, Force of Negation and Urza, uh, the First Sliver, um, Force of Vigor. So there are some, uh, what's another one? Captain, Ranger Captain of Eos. So there are some good hits in here. All right, we're going to start getting to the good stuff. We'll skip past the commons and uncommons. All right, we start off with a rare. It is an unmarked grave. Quality rare, not going to be a high value target, but that is a good quality rare. All right, after that, a little Faithless Salvaging in the Sketch Treatment. Mm -hmm. After that, a Shardless Agent in the... Uh, this is technically a Borderless Shardless Agent. Abundant Harvest. Uh-huh. Showcase Foil. After that, we've got a Glimmer Baron. A Retro Frame Glimmer Baron at that. Seal of Removal in the Etch Treatment. Ignoble Hierarch. All right, Etch Foil Ignoble. Uh, I am a fan of this card. Um, I hang on to these. I really like this card. It's a card that I kind of like long term. Um, probably only two or three bucks. Not like a huge, uh, not like a huge value part at this point. But it's a card I'll hang on to, and I really like. So I'm cool with that. All right, Ignoble. And we conclude with a Territorial Kavu in the Retro Frame Foil. Uh, pretty much a swing and miss there. Like let's let's call that what that is. Um, put the lands. 
sure, I'll put those in that pile. Don't really care about those. Okay. There we go. All right. So we are fetch land hunting, and the opportunity to get retro frame foil uh, fetch lands, etch foil fetch lands, that is something I am interested in. That's one of my reasons for opening up this product, it's despite how many of the, uh, you know, enemy fetch lands I've opened because of the amount of opening uh, box openings of Modern Horizons 2 I've done. I don't have a ton of the special treatments per se. Um, so I will hope to get my hands on a few of those. All right, here we go. Start off with our etch foil land. Rare is it? another Douthy Voidwalker. You know, if there's going to be duplication, that's the sort of duplication I am interested in. I'm okay with that. All right, so we've got an extended art Douthy Voidwalker. Obviously sees a ton of play. Good card. Uh, all right, World Weary after that. Grist, the Hunger Tide in the sketch treatment. Grist is not... All the Planeswalkers are a little bit on the weaker side, you know, if we're being honest. But um, if you're going to see one of the Planeswalkers, Grist is probably the best of them. Uh, it does see some play as well. So that's a nice... Yeah, nice... Uh, Sketch Grist, we'll take that. Third Mythic. All right, Mind Collapse. Mm hmm. Uh, sure, Mind Collapse. And uh, Magmatic Sinkhole after that. Step through in the Etch Treatment. Collaborated, uh, calibrated Blast in the Etch Treatment. That is not uh, a, a hit we're interested in. And then we have A. Hey, you know what? Not bad. Uh, it is a Sarah's Emissary Sketch Foil. Um, not, again, not one of the huge, huge hits, but I really like this. I specifically like this art a lot. I think that is a beautiful, beautiful card. I know the sketch treatment isn't everyone's favorite. I think the Emissary looks really, really good, and I love the foiling and the art on that. I'm even going to put it there. It's probably like, I'm going to guess like a 7 to $8 card. Uh, certainly isn't carrying the, the, the value of a pack, but... You know, it's not bad overall. Okay. So that was three packs in. We are on Packer. This is, uh, yeah, that was three packs in. Not not getting crushed yet, but also definitely not killing it. Okay, here we go. But these packs are wild. So like these, these have some really, really wild swings. You can end up with a pack with just all sorts of value out of the blue. Okay, here we go. We've got our Etch Foil Island. Mm-hmm. Start off with an Asmorano Marduka Dice to Nicole the Car in the extended art. Still see some some modest play. Lens Flare is a showcase. Another mythic. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so Borderless Solitude. That is a certifiable hit. Uh, I think Borderless Solitude is still around $45. That is the kind of hit we are interested in seeing. I love the elementals. All of them are very, very good. Uh, all of them see a ton of play, and Solitude is, is amongst the best of them. So, really nice hit. Again, I think it's right around $45. Absolutely taking that. All right. Blacksmith skill after that in, uh, what is that, the retro frame? Retro foil. Gargadon in the foil sketch. Uh-huh. Soul snare as an etched foil. Okay. Ugh. Gross. Eh, it's Garth One Eye. Yep. Yeah, all right. Womp womp. Um, that is an etched foil Garth. This is uh, a giant nothing burger. That's amongst the worst mythics you can pull. It might, in fact, actually be the worst mythic you could pull. So, uh, not great. After that, hey, you know what? Borderless foil, shardless agent. Uh, it's probably going to be a few bucks. That's a nice little hit. Beautiful looking card again. Trying to kind of show off the the foiling there. Love the art on it. And of course, shardless agent does see some play in a uh, modern. Uh, what is it? Teamer rhinos. All right, that was four packs. We did finally get a certifiable hit on the Mythic side, although we are six Mythics in, and the majority of them have been uh, not great. <laughs> but, you know what? Borderless Solitude really, really helps, so we'll take that. All right, here we go. We've got our island, or excuse me, island. We've got our planes. I love the Lightning Planes as the etched. All right, rare is Peru the Volatile. Mm-hmm. Okay, Abundant Harvest after that, sure. General Ferris Rockerick as also a uh, sketch treatment rare. After that, we've got ourselves a hey, Timeless Witness. Nice. Not a bad uncommon. After that, we've got ourselves an Arrow Amoeba in the etch, uh, excuse me, the retro frame foil, which is uh, not great. And then followed by a Tribute Mage, this time in the etched foil. A little Modern Horizons one. Fire and Ice after that as an etched foil rare. Okay. This pack's not been great, and it's going to stay not great. All right, it's Master of Death. That was, uh, that was a pretty bad pack. <laughs> like, not sugarcoating it. That was a pretty bad pack. Let's reduce some of these piles. 
All right, last pack of the first half of the box. Um, gonna need some help. Can't can't sit on a solitude as our only hit. Really could use some help from the Modern Horizons one cards. Like there's some really good hits there that I would like to see. All right, here we go. We've got our mountain. Yeah. Rare Sanctifier in Vec. Really good sideboard card for a lot of modern decks. Very nice, especially prevalent right now that Rakdos is a uh, big, big archetype in the deck, so this sees a lot of sideboard play. Good quality card, not a huge value card. All right, we've got ourselves a Prophetic Titan after that in the sketch. Fractured Sanity is a sketch rare. Pretty good card, actually. All right, Marble Gargoyle. Yep. After that, an Undead Augur, a retro frame Undead Augur. Really, really, of course, love that retro frame border on the black cards. Really, really nice. All right, Mind Collapse as an etched. Come on. Prismatic Vista. There is a hit for us. Very, very nice. I think the uh, Prismatic Vistas, I want to say these are still like in like the $20, $22 range, somewhere around there for uh, for the uh, etch treatment, etch foil. That's pretty good. I will definitely take that. That is a solid, solid hit. Very nice. Thank you, Modern Horizons 1. Hey, and an Archmage's Charm. There was a point in time where this card would have been like a like a fairly monstrous hit at like $20, $30. Uh, doesn't see as much play as it did, but a retro frame foil Archmage's Charm is still not a bad hit. I'm going to guess that this is in like the $8 range. I could be wrong about that. Maybe 8 to 10 But hey, not a bad hit, especially behind the Vista. So I asked for a little bit of mod help from Modern Horizons 1, and we got some. Very, very nice. All right, we head into the second pack of the uh, seven ha second half of the box. Uh, largely still missing is uh, this. We'll call this the Landslot. Uh, fetch lands? Hello? <laughs> like to see some of those pop up. Typically, these boxes are good for at least, at least on average, three. So the fact that we're at none, both concerning, but also gives me hope. All right, here we go. Prophetic Titan again. Sure. All right, got our island. Uh-huh. Rare is is Baz, the Glimmer Wasp in the Extended Art. Okay. And then we've got our Jade Avenger. Sure. Mythic. Hey, it's Chatterfang. All right. Nice. Borderless Chatterfang is actually a pretty decent little hit. Uh, I want to say this is right around $12 or so. Not monstrous, but not uh, not a nothing burger. I'll say that. Chatterfang does see quite a bit of commander play, so that's a, that's a pretty sweet hit. We'll take that. All right. Sudden Edict after that. Prismatic Ending in the Retro Frame Foil. There's a point in time where this would have been like a $10 card. No longer the case. After that, we've got another Arrow Amoeba, because why not? <laughs> Torak the Dread Cantor. So we are super high on Mythics. We are just not hitting a lot of the high-value targets. All right, so we've got Torak the Dread Cantor. This is in the etched foil treatment. Actually, looks pretty good. Some of those etched treatments don't always come across very nice, if I'm being honest, but this actually looks really good. This is probably in the range of, like, two to three bucks. I don't think it's going to be a huge value. And then we conclude with a Harmonic Prodigy in the sketch treatment, sketch rare Oh, uh, let's see here. All right. Um, Solitude, definitely the biggest of hits so far. You know, we are, although we have plenty of good hits, solid hits, we have nothing super, super top end. Solitude's obviously very, very nice, but um, we're going to need some help from the second half of the box. More help than we just got. Okay, here we go. All right, we've got Power Depot. Yeah, now we've got our planes. Rare is a Soul Talisman, Slow Talisman, that is an extended art. After that, Arcus Acolyte, and that sketch, Dermataxi, sketch. Where's my Esper Sentinels and Urza Sagas? Like, where are the good rares? All right, Lens Flare, uh-huh. Goblin, a Narcomancer in the Retro Frame Foil, okay. Undead Augur in the Etch Treatment, uh-huh. Void Mirror also in the Edge Treatment. Still struggling. Come on, come on, come on. And a Resurgent Belief. That is, uh, that was a that was a pretty rough pack. That was a pretty rough pack. All right. We have, counting the pack in my hand, four packs left. No fetch lands. That's the, that's the real hard hit. All right, here we go. Angelic Curator. Forest. Hey, there we go. Nice. Good solid hit. Yabamaya, Cradle of Growth. Uh, I want to say this is probably in like like the $10 to $12 range. Not bad. We'll take that. Uh, that is, uh, is that borderless? Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty good hit. We'll take that. Very, very nice. 
that call that qualifies as a really really solid rare hit. All right, here we go. World weary. Dress down, probably a couple of bucks as far as the sketch treatment. After that, blacksmith skill. Mm hmm. Gargadon. Bone shredder in the etched. Chance encounter also in the etched. That etched slot has been largely not great. Oh, and retro frame foil Svelin of sea and sky. It is another mythic. It is unfortunately not a great value mythic beautiful i mean no one's gonna doubt that the retro frame blue foiling is amazing but not a high value target there we have a ton of mythics and most of them have been swing and miss to this point if we're being completely honest with ourselves we have three packs left we have no fetch lands all right come on modern horizons 2 the good news is there is uh some pretty bananas packs that are possible. I've seen some some pretty amazing packs, so we still have hope. Here we go. Island. Rare is a Necrogoyf. Extended art. Sure. After that, we've got a Greater Gargadon. Uh-huh. Mythic is a Borderless Imperial Recruiter. All right. Again, not going to be like one of your top-tier Mythics. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm going to say the Borderless Imperial Recruiter is still in the neighborhood of like $8 or so. Not bad. Maybe 8 to 10 uh, it, it certainly, you know, especially given some of our other stuff, it, it, it qualifies as a hit. Kitchen Imp. Llanowar Tribe. Glimmer Baron and the Etch Treatment. Goodest Boy. Hey, there we go. Nice. It's not the, uh, it's the Etch Treatment, not the uh, Retro Frame Foil, but it is still a Force of Negation in the Etch Foil Treatment, and that is still a really, really good hit. Uh, this is probably, I'm going to guess, in like the neighborhood of like 25 uh, pretty solid hit. 25 to 30 be my guess. That we will absolutely take. I am always happy to add another Force of Negation to my collection. Very, very nice. And we conclude. There we go. There's another solid hit. So that pack was actually pretty good to us. So uh, we ended up with a Retro Frame Foil, Force of Negation, is, and as well as a Extended Art. I think it's Extended Art. Uh, Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. Again, I want to say that the Cradle of Growth is probably in the neighborhood of, for the foils, probably like 13, 14 bucks. I could be wrong about that, but um, that's probably pretty close. That is actually a pretty good pack overall. However, we have two packs left in this collector box. We have no fetch lands, which is incredible for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> but at least this uh, at least this box has picked it up a little bit. I mean, we're getting, we're not short on mythics. We just haven't hit any of like other than the solitude. We haven't hit any of the really really stellar mythics, right? Scurry Oak. Actually, this is like a I think it's like a ten dollar. Uncommon foil now. Pretty good. All right. Arcbound Javelinier. Swamp. That might be the first swamp we've seen. Rare. There we go. Finally on the scoreboard with a fetch land. We have an Arid Mesa. Uh, you know, it's not going to be like super, super valuable as far as fetch lands are concerned. I think Arid Mesa is like the normal versions are in the, you know, $10, $12 range. But uh, an Arid Mesa that is an extended art is probably still going to be, you know, $14, $15 bucks would be my guess. Not bad. We'll take it. Especially considering it's our first of the box. Beggars can't be choosers at this point, right? Uh, Underworld Hermit. Hey, there we go. Nice hit. A Sketch Archon of Cruelty. I'm here for it. Uh, one of my favorite cards and one of my favorite treatments. I am cool with this. I love me some Archon of Cruelty. Very, very nice. That definitely qualifies as a hit as well. Uh, I'm going to say this is Archon's probably in the neighborhood of like um, 12 bucks, 12, 13 bucks. So that's pretty good. All right. Box certainly kind of picking it up at the end here. All right. Weather the Storm. Goblin and Archomancer. Patchwork Gnomes, uh-huh, in the Etch Treatment. Persist in the Etch Treatment, a good playable rare. Very, very nice. Not going to be a huge value, but that's okay. After that, a Resurgent Belief in the Retro Frame Foil. Okay. No, that was the conclusion. All right. Well, here we go. Um, you know, let's let's call it what it is. We, we're certainly not ahead on the scoreboard, right? Like, it hasn't been just an incredible box. We've got a lot of good like mid value other than the solitude. The solitude is the one outlier here, $45. Um, other than that, like we haven't hit it big. We've got, uh, got a lot of like medium value, but probably a little bit behind on the scoreboard. Only one fetch has kind of been a little bit of a bugaboo for me. Last pack, any last pack magic in this box. Despite by the way, having 10, like 10 mythics. All right, here we go. Vectus Gloves, yeah. All right, got ourselves a Planes. First rare, there we go, nice. One 
fetch land down. We have a Misty Rainforest extended art. This is probably around 20 bucks or so. Pretty good, pretty good. We will take it. We will take it. All right. Let's keep the good times rolling. Phantasmal Dreadmaw in the showcase. Rare is an Obsidian Charmaw in the showcase. Ornithopter of Paradise. Ravenous Squirrel, a showcase foil, that sketch foil. Chatterstorm, uh-huh. Resurg another Resurgent Belief, stop that. All right, retro, or etched foil, uh, Resurgent Belief. And we conclude with a Priest of Fell Rites, which is not a hit. Um, let's see, where did we put that? Sure. All right, it'll be interesting to see where this box shades out. You know, obviously when these boxes are approaching, you know, they're $307 plus tax. We probably didn't get there with this one. Um, it might be a little bit better than I think, um, considering we got a lot of good mid value tier stuff, but yeah, you know what? Did get at least a couple of fetches, which is where it was looking pretty grim for a while. Some sweet hits. I'm always happy about a force of negation. A couple of, uh, Yavimaya cradles, prismatic vista, not bad. A couple of void walkers ends up, it's going to be, you know, a medium box. I it's obviously not a home run, a home run box, but it's still modern horizons to collector box. Always fun to open. Always enjoy it. Uh, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And uh, by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.